hello friends welcome back to a new video that is mcqs on immunology and this is the part 5 of this series of videos on immunology so let's start the question answer session on immunology and this is the first question of this video that is question number 81 so antibodies against germs in our body are formed in option a liver by kuffer cells option b thymus by lymphocytes option c blood by plasma cells or option d blood by platelets so antibodies are formed in the right answer is option c that is in blood by plasma cells so antibodies against germs in our body are formed in blood by plasma cells okay so let's move on to question number 82 so which of the following act as antigens but do not induce antibody formation and the options are option A, haptans, option B, histones, option C, hostra, or option D, none of this. And the right one is option A, that is haptans, which are act as antigens, but do not induce antibody formation or do not show immune responses. So, these are called haptans. And haptans are small molecules that can't trigger an immune response on their own they are considered incomplete antigens haptans are only cause an immune response when attached to a large carrier such as a protein the carrier doesn't uh, doesn't as usually cause an immune response by itself so some example of haptans include toxins drugs hormones pharmaceutical drugs all are act like haptans they cannot trigger an immune response okay so next is question number 83 it is all the following represent non-specific mechanism of body defense except option a igm option b stomach acids option c phagocytosis option d mucus that traps particles in respiratory tract so which one is represented non-specific mechanism so uh, here all are represented as non-specific mechanism of body defense except which one is non-specific so the right answer is option a that is igm that is specific <coughs> kind of uh, immune response okay that is igm so all other these three are non-specific type of immune response Non, uh, sorry, non-specific uh, type of body defense <coughs> in, uh, response. Okay, so next is question number 84. That is an antigen is option A, result of antibody, option B, residue of antibody, option C, stimulus for antibody formation or option C, sorry, this is D or option D that is opposite to an antibody. So, which one is correct about antigen? And the right answer is option C that are the antigens are stimulus for antibody formation. Okay. So the next one is question number 85. It is for the first six months of its life, a child depends on antibodies that is received in food. Option B obtained from its mother. Option C produced from its immune system cells or option D acquired from the environment. So for the first six months of its life, a child depend on, depends on antibodies of option B that is obtained from its mother. Okay. So next is question number 86 that is both B and T cells of immune system are produced in option A spleen, option B lymphoid node option c bone marrow or option d thymus and the right one is option c that is bone marrow so both b and t cells of immune system are produced in bone marrow okay next one is question number 87 that is antibodies antibodies molecules are held together by option a disulfide bonds option b ester bonds option c glycosidic bonds or option d all of the above and the right one is option a that is disulfide bonds so antibodies antibody molecules are held together by disulfide bonds okay next is question number 88 
there is the term immunity refers to option a the combined action of all white blood cells option b events that occur within the lymphatic system option c general defense against all microorganisms option d specific defense against microbes encountered during an earlier exposure so which one is correct about immunity and the right one is option d that is the term immunity refers to specific defense against microbes encountered during an earlier exposure okay so let's move on to question number 89 and that is the region of an antibody that makes it distinct from all other kinds of antibodies are its option a variable region option b constant region option c mutated region or option d by uh, bifurcated region bifurcated region so which one is correct one that is option a so variable region so the region of an antibody that makes it distinct from all other kinds of antibodies is known as variable region so here this is the <coughs> heavy chain of antibody this is also the heavy chain of antibody this is the light chain of antibody this is the light chain of antibody here the variable region is present in both heavy chain and light chain of antibody where the <coughs> and uh, where the antigens bind with them in the variable region of antibody okay so let's move on to the and here you can see this is the antigen binding site this is the this is the portion where the variable region is present in heavy chain and light chain okay so the next question is question number 90 that is the region the region of an antibody that determines its general role or effector function are its option a variable region option b constant region option c mutated region or option d bifurcated region so the right answer is option b that is constant region so the region of an antibody that determines its general role or effector function is the constant region okay so next is question number 91 that is which of the following cells are most numerous and the options are option a helper t cells option b t cells option c cytotoxic t cells or option d memory cells and the right one is option a that is helper t cell so which of the following cell are most numerous that is helper t cell is the most numerous one so the next one is question number 92 that is helper t cells are option a produce lymphokines option b is helper t cells attack other t cells option c they suppress immune reaction or option d attack and destroy reaction so which one is correct about helper t cell that is the right one is option a so these helper t cells produce lymphokines and here these helper T cells are arguably the most important cell in adaptive immunity as they are, the, they are required for almost all adaptive immune responses. They, are, they not only help activate B cells to secrete antibodies and macrophages to destroy ingested microbes but they also help activate cytotoxic T cells to kill infected target cells. Okay, so this is the role of helper T cell. So the next question is question number 93 that is cytotoxic T cells are known for their ability to unite with option A human tissue cells, option B bacteria and viruses, option C cells of fungi and protozoa, option D small molecules known as epitopes. So which one is correct one and the correct one is option B it is bacteria and viruses so cytotoxic t cells are known for their ability to unite with bacteria and viruses okay so next one is question number 94 that is whole forming protein called porphyrins are produced by option a cytotoxic t cells option b helper t cells option c regulatory cells or option d all of the above so which one is correct one 
about the porphyrin that is option a that is cytotoxic t cells so whole forming protein called porphyrin are produced by cytotoxic t cells this porphyrin is a protein that helps the immune system to kill cancerous or infected cells it is also known as a cytoplasmic granule toxin okay next is question number 95 that is lymphocytes that activate b cells and t cells are option a activator b cells option b helper t cells option c cytotoxic t cells or option d macrophages and the right one is option b that is helper t cells so lymphocytes that activate b cells and t cells are helper t cells okay next is question number 96 that is immunity acquired after an infection is option a active immunity option b passive immunity option c innate immunity option d both b and c and the right one is option a that is active immunity so immunity acquired after an infection is called active immunity so here we will see active immunity results when exposure to a disease organism triggers the immune system to produce antibodies to that disease so active immunity can be acquired through natural immunity or vaccine induced immunity it is active immunity is two types that is naturally acquired by encountered of the uh, infectious disease organism or by vaccine induced immunity that is also active immunity so next one is question number 97 that is active immunity can be obtained from option a blood transfusion option b antibiotics option c live germ in injection or option d weakened germs in injections so the right answer about the active immunity is option d that is weakened germ in injection so active immunity can be obtained from weakened germ in injection so active immunity result when exposure to a disease organism triggers the immune system to produce antibody to that cell and active immunity can be acquired through natural immunity or vaccine induced immunity it is all and the next one is passive immunity is defined as immunity that is inherited from the parents that is option a option b is they are achieved through vaccination or option c that are acquired through first exposure to the disease or option d they are achieved through the sera of other animals enriched in antibodies so which one is correct about passive immunity and the right answer is option d that is this passive immunity is defined as immunity which achieved through the sera of other animals enriched in antibodies so here we will see passive immunity is provided when a person is given antibodies to a disease rather than producing them through his own through his or her own immune system a newborn baby acquire passive immunity from its mother through the placenta okay so these are all passive immunity so the next question is question number 99 that is artificial immunity can be acquired from a option is serious illness option b vaccination option c repeated repeated exposure to the same microbes or option d that is treatment with penicillin and the right one is option b that is vaccination so artificial immunity can be acquired from a vaccination so the last question of this video that is allergens are option a certain microbes which are pathogenic option b weak antibodies produced by certain substances in the body or option c weak antigens which produce sensitive reaction in the body or none of this so the correct answer is option c they are weak antigens which produce sensitive reaction in the body okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 5 of this series part 5 of mcqs on immunology so thank you for watching this video